Hi, good morning. Welcome to this another series lecture about electrical wiring simulator or EWS. Today, we're going to perform the sixth activity under the AC alternating current series in parallel circuits. Okay, so click the second menu and then let's proceed to activity number six. So this is the multi-switch parallel bulbs. Okay, so compared to the previous uh, activity that we had, the, there is only one switch in that particular diagram. And if we turn on that, part, that switch, both the lamp 1 and lamp 2 will turn on. However, in this particular activity that we are going to do now, we ha have two uh, we have two switches for each line. Okay, so let's take a closer look. Click the play and then normal mode. So let's explain first the theoretical operation of the circuit. Okay, so initially, if we're going to start or turn on our breaker, so both the lamp 1 and lamp 2 will be turned off. Because the current will not be able to flow to this uh, to this line, and then also the current will not be able to flow uh, through this line because the switch one and switch two are turned uh, off. Okay. However, if we turn on the switch one, the current now will not be able to flow to lamp one. Hence, the lamp one will be turned on. However, the lamp two will still be off. Okay. And the second scenario, if this is uh, on and then this one is on so both the lamp 1 and lamp 2 will be turned on because the current now will now be able to flow through this line and also through this line okay so let's wire the circuit and then uh, let's simulate it late, later on okay so first is we have to connect first the R to the uh, first terminal of the switch 1 okay R to the first terminal of the switch 1 next the Second terminal to the uh, first terminal of the lamp one. Okay. And then the second terminal of the lamp one goes back to the S terminal of the circuit breaker. Okay, so next is for this switch one, we have two options here. We can connect it directly to the first terminal of the switch one, or we can connect it directly to the R terminal of our circuit breaker. But in this particular case, I think it would be easier if we connect it to the first terminal of our switch one. Okay, the first terminal of our switch one okay so next is the uh, switch two the second terminal of our switch two will be connected on the first terminal of the lamp two okay let's click the undo okay for the second terminal of our lamp 2, we have two options again. We can connect it to the second terminal of the lamp 1 or we can connect it directly to S. However, in this particular scenario, it would be easier to connect this one to the second terminal of the lamp 1. So this is the lamp 1. Okay. So let's... It looks correct, so let's try to click the submit button to verify if we had the correct wiring passed. Now, let's try to simulate. So initially, as of this moment, that the circuit breaker is turned on. However, the both the lamp 1 and lamp 2 are turned off. However, if we click this one, okay, take note that the lamp 1 is turned on. And then if we click this one, the lamp 2 is turned off because the current now will now be able to flow from the this line here from R to this one and then go back to the other side of the supply. Okay, so if we both click this one, off, off, on, on. Okay, so see you in the next lecture.